Hi, I'm Bob Dunlap, and this is a course on making wire or hair springs. I think you'll find it quite interesting if you haven't done any of this. It's not going to tell you how to make every single spring in the world. What it's going to do is give you some good background so that you can figure out how to make some weird spring out of some gun that there's three in existence. And <laughs> so you can figure out how to make it, and you can make it. Um, it's really relatively simple. All I got to do this, and this is not a perfected tool, but it's simply a hunk of steel to give me a little weight. I notched it so I have room to work. Drill the hole through it so I can put an axle through it. I've taken a piece of steel and just fixed it so I can put a pressure plate on it so I can put the tension on the spring wire. And I put various fixtures in it and wind a spring wire up on it and make the spring I want to make. The hammer spring on that gun looks a lot like this. In fact, it looks like that. Because this is the one that I made for one. <clears throat> and you determine that I would like to make a stronger spring. Let's say it's a spring wire... In the spring that's in the gun is 25 thousandths of an inch. But I want a stronger spring. Let's, oh, say, it's 30, let's say that we had a, a spring in a gun that, uh, well, let's say it was misfiring. It's the striker spring and it's misfiring. And I'm hurting for room. So I don't have a lot of choices, at least I think I don't have a lot of choices, for spring stock to put in a stronger spring striker spring, and it has to have quite a bit of motion because the striker will have to move three-quarter of an inch or something. So the spring has to be pretty flexible, but I want to get maximum amount of strength, and I don't have a lot of room. I'll give you an example of a gun like this. is the Ortke's automatic pistol. The firing pin has a hole in it, or the striker has a hole in it, and the striker spring guide is a seat that holds the spring, and then it has a plunger that goes inside the firing pin. Because when it's in the gun, it needs to be like that. If it comes out like that, the spring will kink and bend, and the gun, when it's shot, will ruin the spring and maybe even break the firing pin. So it has to stick in like that. So we're very limited in what diameter we have here and the whole diameter in the firing pin. And let's say that there's 40,000 clearance in between it. We don't want to make that any smaller for some reason. That means that we can't use any wire any more than 20 thousandths in diameter, and even that would drag, wouldn't it? So we have to select a spring stock that will be small enough to work in that tight space.